What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. What you're seeing in front of you right now is something that came across my desk the other day. It is TWS, Track Wild Scan, and this is the name given to a brand new simulator that's out in development. It's been in development at least for a little while because I guess their first video dropped uh, around five months ago. Now I've never known about this and I'm sure most of you probably have never heard about this either. So, naturally, I wanted to check it out, and coincidentally, just a few hours before I had stumbled across their channel, they have released this video. So, naturally, this is the first video that I saw, and I was gobsmacked. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Just recently, I have done a video comparison between the NOR platform developed by Metria Simulations and DCS World. Now, of course, we don't have NOR available to the general public, although we all wish that we did, because their trailers look absolutely sensational, and we really need a little bit of competition for DCS World to solve some of its long-lasting issues. And if you haven't seen that video, please make sure to check it out. I will leave a link in the description below. But no matter what we think about nor whether or not it will be available to the public, we can all agree that the aircraft models in both DCS and NOR look absolutely stunning with some of the best details ever in any flight simulation out there. Then I have stumbled across this. TWS track while scan and this video of this absolutely phenomenal goshawk and just look at the paint the reflection the details the lighting this is one of the most stunning looking aircraft I have ever seen this is the most photo realistic aircraft that has ever been made in a flight simulator as far as I'm concerned. So of course this piqued my interest massively and I was already thinking okay here we go finally we have an incredible competitor to DCS and finally we will be able to experience everything that Unreal Engine is capable of delivering in the 21st century which of course we don't have in DCS and although the visuals in DCS are absolutely amazing for what they are um, there's no doubt about it Unreal Engine and anything built on Unreal Engine nowadays just looks absolutely phenomenal. So as we climb inside the cockpit here, I realize that perhaps not all details are modeled yet, such as the canopy rail. But then I'm looking outside the hangar and I realize... Wait, that was weird. So, at this point I'm left slightly confused and I head over to their website to figure out what this thing is all about. We have two good engines, so if you're clear to disconnect the headset, we'll see you on the left with the pin. Thanks a lot. Okay, so I head over to their website and I can't find any general mission statement. So I head to the aviation tab and I see they've got NASA, the US Air Force and the US Army symbols on there thinking, okay, maybe they're affiliated. Here we come across the T-45 Goshawk that we've just had a look at. They're making some transport helicopter and now we come to strike aircraft and wait, what? F-35A Lightning II. What the hell is this? The F-35A features a highly detailed functional cockpit flight model and realistic internal systems. And at this point, I'm thinking, wait up, what? So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I got this all wrong. This must be yet another defense contractor working closely with the US Air Force in training its personnel and pilots. And this is probably something that's just not going to be available to the general public, just like what the case is with NOR and Metria simulations right now. So I start scouring their website and I come across this little bit here that's describing what they're all about. And it says, Track While Scan TWS is a global scale combat simulator featuring air, land and sea simulation in one of the largest combat simulations ever undertaken. With roots in the US defense industry, TWS will allow players access to next-gen augmented reality and virtual reality training application beyond anything previously seen in public release. So now I'm thinking, okay, this is weird. 
you're offering us a full fidelity fifth generation stealth fighter. A fighter where the helmet alone will probably take the next 50 odd years to get declassified. So of course alarm bells are ringing at this point, but I'm thinking, okay, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's go check out one of their actual trailers and see what their visuals are like, what their simulation is like, what their gameplay is like. And perhaps this isn't just a whole bunch of marketing waffle. Perhaps this could be something that is really interesting. All right, here we go, the trailer. Ooh, looks like some nanite technology, I believe, using Unreal Engine 5, A-10 flying by, Maverick hitting the ground way after the actual aircraft that's released it's flown by, strangely. An MH-60 by the looks of it, and it looks like it's flying on rails, doesn't look very realistic. Uh, the ground in this shot, I would say, looks, well, terrible. Aircraft are flying on rails. Yep, aircraft flying on rails again. Nice explosion! That's pretty good. Nice grass. Reminds me of Squad, actually. Uh, that looked okay. Uh, this shot's a bit meh. Doesn't really show anything. Clouds are kind of meh. Yeah, the ground detail's not bad. Um, the aircraft models look nothing like the Goshawk that we've seen before. Now, what the hell is up with the way this guy's walking? Let me just pause this here for a second. Now, let's compare this to the NOR platform that we've just seen recently in their integrated JTAC simulator and the body mechanics that they have in that, which look absolutely freaking phenomenal. Whereas this simulator, by comparison, just looks like it's made out of sticks. A10 with a horrendous 3D model that looks like it's been made by a two-year-old in about the space of two hours. More aircraft flying in slow motion where we can't tell a single thing about the fly dynamics of this simulator. And uh, this boat looks pretty nice, I'll give it to them. Looks pretty nice. The water also looks pretty decent, to be fair. Uh, the sky looks okay. Not too bad, not great, but nothing to complain about. Uh, soldiers look a bit static there, and in this one, if you look at the gun on the soldier on the left-hand side here, it's like it sticks to his shoulder while his hands are moving. It's all a bit weird. Okay, so having dived as deeply as I possibly could into TWS, what can I tell you about it? How can I sum it up? Will it compete with the DCS in the future? Well, I have some questions. So on the one hand, it sounds pretty incredible. They're trying to get the entire world modeled in an integrated land, sea, and air combat simulator, which I don't think has ever really been done before. I mean, yeah, Arma sort of does it in a gamey, arcadey way, but it's really never been done. Perhaps Nor has done it, but it's not giving it to us because it's only marketing it for the military, so could this compete with DCS and integrate all of those different aspects of combat together and bring a whole bunch of different players together? I mean, perhaps it'll even increase the pool of flight simmers in the future by drawing in more players that are normally into uh, first-person shooters or perhaps uh, tanks, etc. Well, I don't know. I have some serious doubts because on the one hand they're claiming about full fidelity aircraft, on the other hand they're showing us horrendous 3D models, awful mechanics for the infantry, and aircraft which look like they're flying on rails and often in slow motion, giving us absolutely zero insight into the flight dynamics and quite frankly I think they don't have any good flight dynamics because if you're going to market a flight simulator and say it's full fidelity, I think by the time you come out with the trailer, you better make it look like it's realistic. At least as if the aircraft are flying realistic. And this has just not been the case in my experience. Now I will give it to them, it sounds like it possibly has been improving over the last five months. Now that last video with the Goshawk, I mean it looks phenomenal and there's no doubt about it, that is probably one of the best models. The best looking rendered aircraft that I've ever seen in a simulator. Now on the other hand, they're claiming to be developing a massive amount of full fidelity military aircraft. But what really sets the alarm bells ringing for me is the fact that they're offering the F-35 and the F-22 as high fidelity, fully modeled systems study level aircraft. And I just, I'm not buying it. There is just not a chance in hell that anyone 
will be able to get any access to the F-22 or F-35 systems, even on a basic dumbed down level to the point of where we could sort of have a simulation similar to that of what we have in DCS for the current aircraft. I also believe it is completely unacceptable to be marketing full fidelity aircraft and showing us 3D models that look like they've been created, like I say, by a child. And perhaps even a child could have done a better job, quite frankly. However, I am going to keep my fingers crossed because, as I've mentioned in my previous video with the comparison with DCS and NOR, there is a real, real need for some competition in this market. And we, as the DCS community, although we love DCS for many reasons, there are a few which really, really, really frustrate the hell out of us, such as a very incompetent AI system, which I understand is very difficult to model and implement, and I know ED is working in it. And also multi-threading, which I know, yes, they've just recently announced that they're going to, well, just announced they're still working on it, so God knows how long it's going to be, whether or not it's a month or two years before we see multi-threading implemented, we just don't know. But the truth of the matter is that we need competition because that will drive innovation and that will ultimately give us a better product, no matter what it is, whether it's DCS, TWS, or eventually, hopefully, an OR, or a completely new player. I mean, quite frankly, I'm so frustrated sometimes, I'm actually thinking of pulling a team together and starting my own flight simulator. So if you all have a preference as to what sim you want to see next and what combat theater, comment down below. I'm thinking Vietnam. Okay, so that's it ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this little overview. If you have, please make sure to subscribe, smash the living daylight of the like button, and make sure to check out my new website for buying and selling aircraft wing list. We've been growing quite rapidly, which is fantastic, so please tell your aviation community about it and your pilot friends. That'd be massively appreciated. But otherwise, I shall catch you in the next one. Adios! Three versus normal. Seventy-four percent. What a way to start. Any last All right. Any last word? What are you do? What? <laughs> oh dear. Um. Let's try that one more time.